I know it's a concern for a lot of people because we don't have a lot of data to, to give us more information. Um, I would say more data to come, but I mean, right now we go on the information that it's safe and we'll follow the studies going forward. But you know, long-term data, I cannot speak, so I have to wait until we have more answers. Yeah, so I agree completely. Um, we do have, with, with, with Pfizer, we have tw over, you know, about 22,000 patients uh, in the vaccine group that, mm -hmm. that have gotten um, uh, two doses and and in the Moderna group, 15,000 um, patients that have that have received two doses. So you know that's that's still a lot of data. Um, the one thing I will say is is it's very very unusual. I can't even think of a of an of an adverse event that occurs more than four to six weeks out from from your uh, inoculation. And so the fact that we have very good safety data um, out. You know, well over six six weeks. Uh, you know, many patients at this time are in the sort of the three month range on average. Um, I think that bodes very well for the future of this. And just a reminder of, of how this works: you get the shot in your arm. The messenger RNA is, is is has an envelope, a lipid envelope that protects it from being broken down. It goes into the muscle cells. It doesn't even go into the nucleus. That's really important. Yes. So, you know, we're, okay. we're not worried about sort of genetic mutations, yes. and that this is going to you know, cause us to, you know, grow a, a horns or yeah. something like that. <laughs> um, it's just in the cytoplasm. It produces, it's, the gene is encoded to produce the, the spike protein within minutes mm -hmm. of getting the vaccine. Uh, the spike protein is taken by cells called dendritic cells that basically bring uh, the spike protein into the axillary lymph node. Mm -hmm. And in the lymph node, it activates B cells and T cells to create antibodies that go out into the bloodstream. And that's what leads to ultimate protection if and when we're exposed to COVID-19 in the future.